Has Oracle ever considered wikiing the Oracle documentation? The documentation gets better and better every release, but there's still things that the community could add to the documentation, provide extra clarity, etc. I agree. I don't think we'll see a wiki style information, but one thing I would like to see is people have been around for as long as I have in, in the Oracle world. Back in the Oracle 8, sort of 8, 9 documentation timeframe, on every page, there was a feedback button. Now, there's a feedback button at the moment, but that feedback button literally is a thumbs up or a thumbs down. In the old days, the feedback button took you to a pop-up which said, this is the page you're currently on, but also please provide some commentary. And so if you found bugs in the documentation, things that were missing, things that were confusing, you could do that and it would actually be sent to the people in the documentation team. I know this for a fact because before I joined Oracle, I used to use that facility and I would occasionally get emails back from people in Oracle, various product managers saying, thanks for that, yes, we've fixed this, we've moved this, we're shuffling it around, etc." While we're on the topic of documentation, rather than a wiki, I think the concept of the community being able to genuinely provide feedback um, at the moment, the plus and minus thing is, I suppose, you know, the modern form of feedback, but I don't like it. I prefer people being able to provide commentary because, you know, I think we all benefit from that. And also Oracle benefits because it's like someone doing, you know, a bit of QA of our documentation for free. I think, you know, everyone wins. The other thing about documentation I'd like to see is I was looking the other day at the alter table command in the PDF. Now, if memory serves, the alter table command, one command, alter table, 282 pages. That's pretty insane. Like it's a amazingly powerful command. But what that means is for someone just going, oh, I need to add a column. It's probably the most common thing I want to do with alter table is add a column. They're going, oh my goodness, 282 pages for this one command. I would like, this, this is my utopia for the documentation. I would like to see for each command, that are in the common command sets, you know, create table, create index, et cetera. Probably, you could probably find say 50 commands that are common. For each one, I would have at the start of that documentation section, something that says, here's the most common thing you'll do. You wanna create a table, here's a create table command with a primary key and five columns, a string, a number, and a date and a timestamp, for example. Just so anyone's saying, oh, look, I'm new to Oracle, I wanna see how to create a table, they go to the create table command and there's an example they can cut and paste. Underneath that is all the other hundreds of pages of all the things I want to create a compressed table or an object table or a, all the various permutations and powerful stuff we all offer in Oracle. But at the top of every common command, have a little quick and easy section saying, you want to create an index? Here's how you get up and going. Create a table? Here's how you go. Create a user? Here's the typical grants you'll need, etc. Such that a novice can come in and go, yep, bang, 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 I'm good to go. I think one of the enormous values of people probably know oraclebase.com, Tim Hall's website. I think one of the wonderful things there is it presents that offering. It's a case of, I need to be able to do function X. I don't need to know all the details. I just need to know how to get it up and working. Tim's you know, website has always been probably the number one website on, on the internet for that kind of information. It's been fantastic. I'd like to see that style of operation in, in a header section of each of the Oracle documentation sections for all the common commands.